volumes of certain shapes is what we're going to be talking about right now. And we'll start with a sphere. A sphere is just basically a ball, like a baseball or something like that. And uh, so picture it as like an orange. Let's talk about an orange. The volume of the sphere is 4 thirds pi r uh, cubed, I believe. Yes. Cubed. The area covering the sphere is 4 pi r squared. Do with a 4 pi r squared. Um, that's basically all you need to know for what's in a sphere. Uh, we'll talk more about spheres in lots in the future. But uh, our sphere, basically, our volume is 4 thirds pi r squared, pi r cubed, my mistake, and our area is 4 pi r squared. The way I think about it is area is a two dimensional thing, so it has to have two factors of r. Volume is a three dimensional thing, so it has to have three factors of r. Let's talk about a cylinder now. So a cylinder basically looks like this. Like a coffee can or something like that, where you've got the, you know, something like that. Um, and we have a radius of the circle here, and we have a height. Whoops, <laughs> that was a long age. We have a height of the cylinder. So we know the area of the top is pi r squared, because it's a circle. So the area of the top is pi r squared. We want to find the volume, we just multiply it by h, and that is what our volume is. So it's the area of the surface multiplied by the height of the object. So volume equals pi r squared. Um, and that's all you need to know basically for that. We'll, that's, we'll leave it at that for there. The last shape we're going to look at is a cone. So a cone has a circular base and it basically points into a pyramid or a party hat basically. So this is inside behind the object. But it's basically a party hat. And the volume of this is going to be uh, a third pi, hmm, the volume is a third pi r squared h. Oh, right. A third pi r squared h. The reason it's squared here is because height is the third dimension. So we've got r, which is our radius of our circle on the bottom, and h is this height, the height of the actual cone. So if you think about a cylinder, we just said a cylinder is pi r squared h. Well, a cone, it actually ends up being a third of the volume of what a cylinder is. But they're almost the same in calculations because of that. So that's going to be our section on uh, 3D shapes and volumes of those. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.